हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अंतराजाल एकेडमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर करंट अफेयर्स फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ टू एटीन जनवरी 2020, थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी विच इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द अपकमिंग कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आर इम्पोर्टेंट अपडेट्स Hatham bin Tariq Al Sayyid becomes new Sultan of Oman. He took over as the Sultan of Oman after the death of a long-run ruler, Qaboos bin Sayyid Al Sayyid. He has ruled Oman since 1970 as the eighth Sultan of the House of Al Sayyid. The late Sultan had himself chose Hatham bin Tariq, who is the cousin of himself. As his successor as the sultan had no children he was the longest serving monarch among the recent arab rulers world trade organization set up a dispute panel over india's duty hike on 28th american goods this panel has set up to examine complaints filed by the us against india for hiking custom duties of 28th american goods in july 2019 the general agreement on tariff and trade is a wto pact signed by all the countries of multilateral body aims to promote trade by reducing or eliminating trade barriers like custom duties us also alleged the duties imp- imposed by india appear to be inconsistent with the two norms of gatt india's export to the us in 2017-18 stood at 47.9 billion dollar and imports were at 26.7 billion dollar so it also in favor of india sai ing wins taiwan presidential elections she has secured a second term in office After winning the presidential election with 57.1 votes, she won 8.17 million votes while her rival backed at 5.52 million votes. Her Democratic Progressive Party retained control of legislature. World's second largest Muslim congregation, Biswa Istema, held at Bangladesh. Bangladesh hosted the world's second largest Muslim congregation from January 10th to 12th 2020. This was the first phase of the congregation. The second phase will held from January 17th to 19th 2020. An annual event that is held in 160 acre field on the bank of Turang River at Tongi on the outskirts of Dhaka since 1967. It is a gathering that focuses on the prayers and meditations and is not pent to political discussion. 18 Dhaka International Film Festival begins in Dhaka. It has been inaugurated by the Foreign Minister of Bangladesh Dr. AK Abdul Momen. This kicked off with the screening of Spanish Greek film Window in the Sea directed by Miguel Angel at Bangladesh National Museum. During the first festival 220 films from 74 countries will be screened across various venues in Dhaka between 11th to 19th January 2020. The theme of the festival is better film, better audience and better society. 12th January National Youth Day. Yuva Divas is celebrated in India on 12th January on the birthday of social reformer Swami Vivekanand. 23rd Youth National Festival 2020 started with a grand inauguration ceremony in Lucknow which is organized by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and State Government of Uttar Pradesh The theme is Fit Youth Fit India PM Narendra Modi appealed to the youth to purchase local products by 2020 which will help the countrymen This way will increase the Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat bonding and will prove a learning platform for everyone. Amit Shah launches the country's first cyber crime prevention unit, Ashwast in Gandhinagar. He has inaugurated the country's first cyber crime prevention unit, Ashwast in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Also, he launched video integration and statewide advanced security project. Ashwas will have a dedicated service helpline for the victims of the cyber crime. RBI extends recurring payment feature to UPI. So now RBI will allow consumers to give an e-mandate for recurring payments made through UPI. This will allow UPI users to bypass additional factors authentication every time 
a payment is made to a regular merchant by giving a one time instruction to upi service provider the limit on such recurring transaction has been set at rupees 2000 central government raised india overseas bank authorized capital 2 lakh 50000 crore the union government in consultation with the rbi has announced an increase in the authorized capital of company is the maximum amount of share capital to a company is authorized to issue its shareholders Jaspreet Bumrah gets BCCI's Polly Umrigar Award. He bagged the Polly Umrigar Award, the highest award of Indian cricket, on January 12, 2020. He received this award for the best international cricketer 2018 and 19 at BCCI annual award event. He made his test debut against South Africa in 2019. SEBI extended deadline to split CMD post. It had deferred by two years to April to 2022. Its directive for listed companies to split the roles for the chairman and the managing directors. Under the norms, the top 500 listed entities by the market capitalization were mandated to comply with the requirements of separation of the roles of chairperson and MD or CEO with effect from April 1, 2020. Retail inflation hits 5 years high of 7.35% in December 2019. Inflation based on consumer price index rose to 7.35% in December 2019 against 2.18% in December 2018. In July 2014, the December inflation has the highest up to 7.39%. Food inflation shot up to 14.12% in December 2019 from 10.08% in November 2019 on account of rising prices of the vegetables and pulses. ISRO will launch GS8030 satellite. ISRO is going to launch a communication satellite on board Ariane 5 launch vehicle FRMP French Guyana on 17 Jan 2020 GS8030 is to serve as a replacement to the INS84A spacecraft services with an enhanced courage with a mission life of 15 years GS8030 is an operational communication satellite for DTH television uplink and VS80 services free hindi classes for americans Indian MS has been started free Hindi classes for Americans and foreign nationals for those who have a keen interest to learn the language and to enhance their understanding for Indian culture. The free Hindi classes would be imparted by Mokshraj, the teacher of Indian culture at the embassy from 16 Jan 2020. Mokshraj is the first cultural diplomat appointed by India at the Indian embassy in Washington DC. Michael Dibapatra appointed as the deputy governor of RBI on 14 Jan 2020 Michael Dibapatra has been appointed as the deputy governor of RBI on the 6 month after former deputy governor Viral Acharya's premature resignation Patra got his appointment NATO class diesel launched for Indian Navy IOC developed a special class diesel confirming to NATO grade for the use in ships of indian navy vice admiral g c pabi launched the upgraded high flash high speed diesel in presence of ioc director ssv ramakumar and sm vaidya the fuel has lesser environmental impact due to low sulfur content and would results in better performance statue of unity in eight wonders of sco The 182 meter tall Statue of Unity in Gujarat has been included in the Shanghai Corporation Organization's Eight Wonders of list. It has been announced by the External Affairs Minister S J Shankar on 13 Jan 2020. It is a monumental tribute to Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel and Statue of Unity is the world's tallest statue. and was inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi india bangladesh ministers meet 2020 held india bangladesh information and broadcasting ministers meet 
2020 was held in New Delhi on 14 Jan 2020. Bangladesh Information Minister Mohammad H Mahmood arrived to New Delhi on 13 January. The talk on the bilaterally planned biopic of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the founding figure of Bangladesh. Bangladesh Betar and All India Radio inaugurated a contest sharing program. Flipkart opened two new fulfillment centers. It has opened two of its largest fulfillment centers in Haryana, spread across 9 lakh square feet. The expansion of FCs will help Flipkart to scale up its supply chain infrastructure in North India. It has also partnered with the National Skill Development Corporation's Logistics Skill Sector Council to provide training on the nonsense of supply chain and delivery. President Ramnath Kovind will present RNG Award. President Ramnath Kovind will present the Ramnath Goenka Excellence in Journalism Awards in New Delhi on 20 Jan 2020. The awards are administered by the Ramnath Goenka Memorial Foundation and are now in their 14 years. This time they have 11 categories covering critical areas in different fields. A new book on selected writings of Arun Jaitley. A new book, a compilation of selected writings by former finance minister Arun Jaitley was announced by publishing house Juggernaut Books. The book, A New India, Selected Writings 2014-19, to is an authoritative account of the policies and decisions made by PM. It will hit the stands in February 2020. AP Maheshwari appointed as the new DG of CRPF. Senior IPS officer AP Maheshwari was appointed as Director General of the Central Reserve Police Force on 13 January 2020. He was in batch of 1984 IPS officer of Uttar Pradesh cadre, is now a special secretary in the Union Home Ministry. He has been appointed to the post up to February 28, 2021, that is the date of his super announcement. Scientists found the oldest material on the earth. Analyzing a meteorite which have discovered this oldest material known to exist on earth, they found dust grains within the space rock which fell on earth in 1960s. This is as much as 7.5 million years old. The oldest of the dust grains which were formed in stars that road to life long before our solar system was born. Captain Tanya Shergill, first women parade adjutant, an officer with Army's Corps of Signals, will be the first women parade adjutant for the Republic Day Parade. The parade adjutant is responsible for the parade. Bank of Baroda and Kotek Mahindra Bank exit Equifax. Bank of Baroda exited from Credit Information Bureau, Equifax Credit Information Services for a consideration of Rs 91.03 crore. In a regulatory filing, BOB sold up to 1 crore shares of face value of Rs 10 for Rs 67.43 per unit. Kotek Mahindra Bank also exited from Equifax Credit Information Services. It sold 5.56% stake in the Credit Information Bureau for a consideration of Rs 50.5 crore. Suresh Kishan Chand, Deputy MD of IDBI Bank. He has taken charge as the Deputy Managing Director of IDBI Bank. He is presently working with IDBI Bank as Executive Director heading Mid-Corporate Group and Trade Finance. His appointment has been approved for a period of three years with effect from the date of his taking charge. Budget session to begin from 31st Jan. Budget session will commence on 31st Jan 2020 and conclude on April 2020 with a recess in between. The first phase of the session will be held from 31st Jan 2020 to 11th Feb 2020 and second phase from 2nd March 2020 to 3rd April 2020. President Ramnath Kovind will address a joint sitting of both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha in the Central Hall of Parliament on 31st January 2020. IBBI amended voluntary liquidation norms. The Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India has 
notifies changes to the voluntary liquidation process regulation. A liquidator has to deposit unclaimed dividends and undistributed proceeds in the liquidation process along with any income earned there into the CVLA before submission of an application for dissolution of the corporate person. Yoko Bank to be chosen to pay Russia India is said to change the bank it uses to make payments for Russian arms and is likely to route the money through Yoko Bank which is also being used to carry out trade with Iran. The payments which are complicated due to the threat of US sanctions on purchase of military hardware like the S-400 air defense systems from Russia were earlier being routed through syndicate bank. Reliance Geo is India's largest teleco. As per Tarai subscribers' data, Bharti Airtel also increased its market share in November, adding 1.65 million mobile users in the month to end with 327.30 million users that gave it a 28.35% market share. But the wireless telecom subscriber base reduced by 28.8 million in November. The loss was led by Vodafone Idea, which lost 36.41 million subscribers during the month and a reduced market share of 29.12% data showed. Jio had become the number one in terms of revenue market share last year with 31.7% share of the adjusted gross revenue. Exim Bank to raise up to $3 billion The Export and Import Bank of India is looking to raise up to $3 billion from overseas borrowing in next financial year, a top official said. The bank has raised $1.7 billion of overseas borrowing through bond issuances and foreign loans in current financial year. Thank you. For more videos, subscribe to our channel, Antrajal Academy.